Hi, welcome to Sew and Share. This is Sherry. Hope you guys had a great week. Today I am going to be sharing with you my, the muslin that I am making for my uh, sew along with, uh oh no I can't find it, the sew along dress challenge. Um, I'm still trying to get that done really seriously. I don't know. But anyway, it's Butterwick 5030 and it's a wrap dress. Um, I did decide to make a muslin with this. Sometimes I'll make muslin, sometimes I won't. Um, but this one I decided to because I, I did go online and check and some people said, oh, they were fitting. The sizing was kind of off. And I heard one person say or a couple of people say that the wrap wasn't long enough. So I really wanted to make a muslin before I went and made it. Um, you know, into the fabric. And I'm thinking that I'm going to be using this fabric. I kind of liked this, um, you know, a little thinner cotton. There's another fabric that I'm choose I'm deciding between. So one or the other. And I don't even know if I'm going to get it done yet. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so I am making the muslin and thought maybe you'd like to see how I do that, the process that I go through. I mean, it's, I don't think it's that different. But um, anyway, so... First off, I'm going to show, you know, how to get fabric on green because that's the first thing that I do is always with anything, you know, is the fabric has to be on green. Um, that's the most important thing when sewing garments. Um, so, I am going to, this is called truing. Um, and now with cotton fabrics, this works really well. Not every fabric you can rip, but cotton fabric, most cotton fabric you can really rip. So what I do is just take like about an inch away and just clip, just clip it and then just grab it and rip it and rip it all the way down to the bottom. And there you go. And sometimes, this one I don't know, sometimes you can really see, this one's off a little, well, yeah, because you can see, you know, up here how thick it is. And then by the bottom, like, wow, it's really skinny. So it was off by that much. Um, and then to get it, make sure that it's really true and straight is you grab a thread on the top so grab a thread. This one's not coming off the top too much. And if you can grab it, and I don't even know if you can see, but see how it's just going straight down. Just straight down. That thread just, there we go. It went all the way down from top to bottom. So then, oops, oh, another one's coming through. Um, that just means that it is straight. Um, now, sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't, like sometimes you'll go a little bit and it will rip. That's not straight. I just keep pulling the threads till it goes straight. It's pretty, pretty easy, this when you rip it. Um, sometimes, so I'm gonna show you the other way. Sometimes you can, can't rip the fabric. Um, it's too thick. Sometimes it won't rip. Sometimes it's just a fabric like this fabric like cotton fabric like this is quilting that rips really easy but if you get other fabric like especially like this thin stuff like this just I I wouldn't rip it just me I mean I don't think that should be ripped even my whoops whoops I'm losing everything even this I don't think I'm gonna rip this it's just so thin I just it might be able to be ripped but it's kind of stretchy and I would prefer not to rip it um so that's where then what you do is you take the scissors and you still clip. And I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this. I'll try to take a picture um, of a different one. But you clip just like before. Clip. But then you kind of pull it apart like that. And you can see little threads popping up there. This is more tedious and it's not my favorite way, but sometimes it's just what you gotta do. Um, so just grab a thread. 
see I'm even having a hard time grabbing a, a thread here. Um, and then, come on, come on, come on. Then you pull there. And you can see how that thread is kind of pulling the fabric. If you can see that, it's puckering the fabric up. Um, you just keep pulling down and moving it down like this. Sometimes you can do you see that, how it's puckering the fabric like that. Sometimes, oh my gosh, you can be so lucky and it will go like almost all the way down without breaking. I mean, I love that. Sometimes that thread, oh my gosh, it's annoying. Sometimes it breaks like every two pulls and it's breaking and then you gotta like find a new thread. I'm just gonna like show you to get an idea. I'll go down a little farther. I mean, you could keep, oh, it just broke. Okay, so it just broke. So then you can see that but you probably won't be able to see too well on camera. But there is this little line. And what it does is that thread makes a little line. And then you just take your scissors and you cut right on that line. And then just cut on that line until you get up there and you don't see it anymore. Um, I'm just going down, cutting on the line. Okay, I really can't see it anymore, so. Well, no, I actually can. But anyway, to give you an idea, just keep cutting down that line as much as you can see. And then when you get to the end of that line again, then same thing. Pull out, there's a thread. And then just keep grabbing again and pulling all the way down again until you get to the bottom. There, that broke already. See, so sometimes it breaks really fast like that, and then sometimes it doesn't. But then cut on the line again until you get all the way to the bottom. Now, and then to true, this is the part that is like, when you rip, when I rip it, I find that it just goes, the thread just goes totally down really nice, but when I, don't and I cut it then I think oh, I'm not probably not cutting it straight I can't see the line perfect and it doesn't go down all the way but I'm gonna try all oh, this one did no it got to it's like getting to here um yeah it's still yeah kind of broke there but anyway and then I just keep butting around until it goes down all the way but if you get that idea so then once it's on grain and all um, trued up and stuff, then, oh my goodness, okay. I just want to get rid of that right now because so we can continue on. But um, then I lay out, I, oh wait, I need that. What am I doing? So goofy, so goofy, so goofy. Then what you do is, so you trued up the fabric, this, you know, it's all trued up. You find your salvages. So from salvage to salvage, you know, you guys know how to do this when you're little. But anyway, salvage, salvage. Put your fabric salvage to salvage. And then, um, and what I do sometimes, what I like to do is, when I'm laying it out and checking the grain, because now this gets into checking the grain of the fabric, um, I pin it. So I'll put some pins in here and I'll put a picture down of that. But I just pin it because I don't want it to move at all when, I, when I'm doing this. Um, so anyway, I pin it and then you lay it flat so everything is you know, no bumps, nothing, this fabric is flat. Then you check the sides. Now, if the sides, like this is a little off here, but it's because I don't have it laid out nice, but for it to be on grain, the sides need to be straight. So they need to match up on both sides and lay nice. But if they're off, you know, too much, then I, you have to get it on grain. 
So if it's still not on green after chewing it up, then what you do is you can take the, um, grab one end and grab the other on the bias and then just pull. I don't want to pull too much in case I'm pulling it off green, but you just pull it like that just a little bit on the bias to bring it to whatever and that usually will help. Um, sometimes, I've, I've never had this, but I've heard that sometimes fabric can be so off grain that you just can't use it. Um, but anyway, so that's how to get the fabric on grain. All right, so after you have it all, you know, the fabric all on grain, then you lay out the pattern, you know. Um, of course, when you're making a muslin, you don't have to lay out all the pattern pieces because you're not going to be sewing it completely um so you just need the basics um you don't need facings you don't need pockets you don't need you know things like that just like in this dress i'm just doing the bodice front and back and the skirt front and back um so when i lay out what i usually do is I like to cut the seams about an inch more. And that's just because then when you're going to fit, if you have to pull out some extra fabric, if it's a little tight or not fitting um, nice, then you have a little bit of extra fabric to pull um, from. I So I add, this is me. So I'll just take and measure an inch around the pattern piece and then um, just cut it. I usually use the friction pin, pins, I like them, but you don't have to because it's just a muslin, you could use a regular pen. But anyway, I don't, I usually don't mark the armholes. I cut the armholes like the size that they are and like the neckline I didn't. Um, I usually don't have problems with them. Armholes I'm never adding to usually. I'm always like taken away from, but never adding. So I didn't add the extra on. I did add extra along the center front, along the waist, and along the side seam, um, and the shoulder, okay? And I did that on all of them. Then what I do, and I'll have pictures so you can get a clearer, you can see it better, but then what I do is then I go and I mark and I mark, like I'll cut notches because that's what I'm gonna use when I sew. I'll cut the dots or mark the dots because I need to do that when I'm sewing it together. Well, not on the armhole, but. Um, and then I also like the darts, of course, because, you know, I have to sew my darts together when I'm making it for fit. So I'll mark the darts and all that kind of stuff. Um, here, I should just take this pattern piece off. Kind of crazy. But, um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so you can see, and then I also will mark the center front because I want to see if that's matching up with my center front. I also mark the grain lines because I want to see if it's, you know, if the grain lines are laying straight. They're not kind of weird and off grain and then I mark um, here I marked the waistline because I want to know where the waist is if it's in the right spot and I also mark the bust line because I want to see where the bust is lying um, and I mark them all on the right side because then when it's sewn and when it's on then I can just tell right away if it's lining up right or not so I do that if, you know, I guess like you could mark pocket placement too. If you wanted to see where the pockets were lying on there, you could probably mark where the pockets go to just to check that. Um, I, when I sew it, then what, you know, I do is baste it together. And of course, it's not like you're going to be completing a whole outfit. Like the facings don't need to be added on. Um, you know, you don't have to go through all the techniques of completing the project. It's just to get a certain idea of fit. Like I don't even add, 
I don't even put the sleeves on. I mean, sometimes I might if I want to see how the sleeves are fitting, but like with this dress, I'm not worried about it. And I can usually tell where the sleeve, like, cause I'm gonna be able to tell where the sleeve is gonna come up to just by looking at where the shoulder is lying. Um, so that I don't, you know, like I said, only if I want to see where the sleeve is gonna, how the sleeve is gonna fit and length and stuff. Um, but yeah, so then I just kind of sew it together and once it's sewn together, then, you know, can try it on and tweet your fit like that. Um, so I might, I'm thinking maybe I will add on, like maybe show you what it looks like and maybe show you what tweets I have to do, but like I, I'm not a fitting expert. So I kind of just go off of what I think is best and I don't know if it's the right way or not. It's just what makes my outfit look good and fit me um, the best. So I'll kind of see about that. I don't know. Um, yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more sewing related videos, please hit the like or the subscribe button before below. You can hit the like button too, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye.